Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I want to introduce you to a new to me stamp company and how to create simple and quirky cards. The stamp company that I've discovered is called Cats on Apple Trees. Yes, I know it's a hilarious name. They are actually a company which is located in my hometown here in Dresden and they graciously invited me to stop by. They don't really have a shop, they have like a warehouse which is also their office and I was allowed to stop by and pick out some stamps. So you can see their style are like these um, solid images, um, very quirky and cute characters. Um, so it's not like, like you're not coloring anything, you just stamp in whatever color you choose and they usually use black here. And you can even get like these tiny floral images. The stamps are rubber stamps, they're already mounted on wooden blocks. Um, so they're ready to go and they're so much fun. Today I want to create three cards using basically these supplies. The little meerkat, the rocks, and Versafine Onyx Black Pigment Ink, and a stamp -a magic just to help me position stuff. Now to start out with my first card, I already um, stamped down the rocks, just held the stamp in place, slid in my stamp and magic and double stamped it just to get the ink to be a little bit darker. Now for the meerkat, you know, it's a wooden stamp, so I can't look through it. I can't make sure that it's exactly where I want it to be. Um, you, with trial and error, you can figure out how to stamp it straight. I'm just very peculiar, I need to every I need everything to be super perfect, so I'm just using my stamp and magic. If you look at the uh like for the Instagram videos by Cats on Apple Trees, um they just stamp it like that. I mean they have more experience with their stamps, so they don't need this. But for me I just I'm just more comfortable using the stamp and magic. And this allows me to place the images exactly where I want them to be, just like that. It's just perfect. Now when you watch their videos, the Cats on Apple Tree Instagram videos, you see that they oftentimes just quickly draw in their own elements. And I mean, I'm not doing, you know, anything artsy here. All I'm doing is I, you know, draw a line and then draw some you know, bubbles onto that line. You know, it's not, it's not art. It's literally just drawing a few lines and you have a scene, voila. You could even draw the rocks, but I'm not, I'm not that good. So it's okay. I'm happy to pay for the stamps. I found a tiny triangle stamp. Um, they also sell a triangle stamp, but I you know, just couldn't spend more money. Um, so I found the triangle stamp that I've already had and I used it to um, create a little frame. So, and then I connected the triangles just with some dots from my pen. And that is the first card done. Literally, it took like five minutes to do. For the second card, I'm starting out with the Meerkat, stamping it as well with the Versafine Onyx Black in. You could stamp him in brown, you could stamp him in blue or in red. I just like this dark contrast of the black. Then I grabbed this Sugar, Bee, uh, Sugar Pea <laughs> stamp set, simply because it has some floral images which are solid and which I thought would go great with my landscape. I just drew in um, some ground for the little guy to stand on. And then I used this stamp by Sugar Pea Designs, stamped this down and then again drew my own floral image here, down here. You can see it's really not difficult. And then I just, you know, created some wisps of grass by simply flicking my pen upwards. That's all that I did. I also bought this kite stamp and I'm uh, using dye ink to stamp it. And you can see that the dye ink isn't really covering it um, perfectly. So that's why the stamp of magic is so important. I can just go in and stamp repeatedly exactly into the same spot and get the perfect image. And then I'm just using uh, my pen here to create the uh, line to hold on to the kite. And then I'm just coming in with my white gel pen and adding some finer details to the flower here. It's just some dots. That's all that there is. And of course, I had to add some dots there as well. And that's how I created my scene, basically using, you know, just a few stamps. Also quickly added a sentiment here. I stamped hearts at the top and at the bottom. And again, used some dots to kind of frame the image so it doesn't just float on this white cardstock. Again, this card took like three or four minutes to complete. I've already stamped, for my third card, I already stamped the rocks, and then I'm coming back with the meerkat, stamping that one as well. This wasn't quite perfect, so I'm just inking up the stamp again, stamping it here. By now you know, just, you know, drawing um, a little, some leaves onto a stick, and voila, it becomes a plant. 
Um, and I wanted to add some glimmer and shimmer to this card. Um, so there are several options that you could use. I opted to go with the Nouveau um, Mousse that it comes in different colors. And I just wanted to apply it to one of the rocks to have like a colorful accent here. And I didn't have my, like the tool that you usually use with mousse or embossing paste. So I had to use the end of my quick stick here. But um, I think I created this card on a Saturday or Sunday, probably on a Sunday. And uh, well, I went out and buy, bought the proper tool. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday um, and then I just stamped a few elements again and here I'm just connecting them with the dots to create a nice frame it's very quirky it's very simple very graphical here are the three cards that I created and like in total it took me maybe like 15 to 20 minutes to create these three cards um, I just like them because they're very different from what I usually create and I absolutely appreciate the like the the easy way I can do this and how quick I can do this. I mean, I love coloring, don't get me wrong, but the opportunity to just stamp a solid image and basically the card being done is very appealing to me, especially if you want to have something very quick. I mean, it does. it's not, you know, less nice just because you didn't spend a whole time a whole lot of time coloring it i just feel that this is a very different style and i really enjoy doodling on these cards as well because you know that is something that i can do just draw a stick and add some leaves to it so i hope you got inspired i hope you check out the company i have more information on my blog um feel free to stop by feel free to ask any questions uh, i'll try to answer them if i can cheers